Hello and welcome back to this Tuts Plus course on WordPress Multisite. In this part of the course I'm going to give you a quick overview of WordPress Multisite. I'm going to give you some examples of how it's used in the real world and I'm also going to show you some of the screens it uses. And we'll go into more detail on each of those in some later parts of the course. But let's just start by having a look at the guidance on the codex. What you can see here on WordPress.org on the WordPress codex, there's a page called Create a Network, and this tells you everything you need to know to set up your multi-site network. Now, for a lot of people who aren't familiar with WordPress multi-site or with the codex, these instructions might be a bit complicated to follow. But the good news is, during this course, you'll learn everything you need to know to set up your WordPress multi-site network and manage it. So let's have a look at some examples of multi-site networks. The largest and best known multi-site network in the world is WordPress.com. A lot of people running WordPress sites start off on WordPress.com and then graduate to WordPress.org with a self-hosted WordPress installation. WordPress.com lets you create your own WordPress website completely free and gives you access to themes and plugins in a similar way to a self-hosted WordPress site. But what you will find is that when you want some more advanced features and some of the premium themes, you'll have to pay and you get a little bit less flexibility than with WordPress.org, but it is incredibly easy to use. Another big WordPress multi-site network is Edublogs. Edublogs is by far the largest educational website platform. As you can see here, it's got over 3 million blogs and it runs on WordPress multi-site. So you can create your own blog for free. And then if you want, you can add premium features on top. Now, other examples include the New York Times. This isn't a site where you can add your own blog, but there are individual blogs on this site that are all run using a WordPress multi-site network. BBC America runs in a similar way. It's got blogs and they're all using WordPress multi-site. If you want some more examples of some great sites using WordPress multi-site, take a look at the showcase on the WordPress website. Now let's just have a quick look at WordPress multi-site and how it will look in your installation. What you can see here is the network dashboard, not the site dashboard. And this is an extra dashboard that's added when you install WordPress multi-site. And from this dashboard and these screens, the network administrator manages the network. And what's also added is in the admin bar at the top, a list of sites. So in this network, I've got one site that I have access to. And the dashboard here is really familiar if you've ever used WordPress, but I can also access the network administration screens. And from here, I can manage sites, users, themes, plugins, the settings for my network, and I can also make updates. And you'll learn about each of these as we work through the course. So in the next part of the course, I'm gonna look in more detail at some real world examples of multi-site. And I'm gonna give you some ideas as to how you might use a multi-site network, either for your clients, for yourself, for your community or your company, or for anybody who wants to set up a site on your network. See you next time, and thanks for watching.